Alright, we're looking at Commando on the Amstrad. There's a few reasons why uh, I'm going to be taking a look at this one today. And if you're wondering what the music is in the background, that's the uh, theme and title song from Commando the movie. Um, I don't think the movie's got anything to do um, with the game at all. It's not an official licensed. Certainly nothing uh, to do with Arnie or follow the plot of the film. Besides, the film came out in uh, 1985 and the uh, arcade original was also released in 1985, so pretty short turnaround time there. I guess uh, Capcom had made the arcade knew about the film coming out, so I thought they'd uh, cash in quick. And uh, apparently this was uh, Christmas number one in 1985 when it was released. Uh, this conversion. Um, although I think the Amstrad uh, one didn't, didn't come out until about June 1986, a bit later than the others. Anyway, I um, thought I'd do this one. It's um, now, I think, because it's a really popular game. But just to say hello to all my uh, new subscribers and a big thank you to Steve Benway for his uh, shout out on his video on Friday um, for my channel, um, which uh, meant a lot, of, a lot more people have uh, noticed my channel. Um, come across to see lots of Amstrad vids so hello to my new subscribers and thanks again to Steve um, I wanted to take a look at this one as well because um, I feel um, the Amstrad version uh, has been unfairly uh, slagged off um, I, still, I think it's a really awesome conversion really simple and real, really good fun um, the Commodore 64 version is probably you know the best um, that's got some really nice detailed graphics uh, Sound effect, all awesome sound effects and awesome music, and is uh, probably much more close to the arcade. Although um, that version and the Spectrum version does have its major drawbacks, I think the Commodore 64 version's only got about three levels, whereas this has eight. Um, and this version is pretty similar to the Spectrum version. It's probably sort of half ported across anyway, um, but has some uh, has obviously has really nice colours. Um, and also some really really cool music as well in its own right. The Spectrum version didn't have any music, just uh, various blips and bops for uh, shooting guns and explosions. Um, some really nice sound effects from the guns here and uh, grenades blowing up and stuff. Um, take on its own, I think this is a really good game. Um, and considering it's 1985 or 1986, it's damn good for its time. Controls rather well, plays rather smoothly and fast. And like I said, it's got some uh, nice color, use of colours and uh, sound effects and music of the game. It does have slowdown in places. Oops, made a mistake there. Especially when you get lots of enemies on the screen. You can see it's starting to chug there a bit. And uh, one of the later levels where there's the, uh, I think it's a, 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 an airport landing strip you have to run across. And they've not done that very, very well. The, the game <laughs> crawls to a right hole. But uh, this is damn good fun, especially uh, your uh, commando there. I think his name's Super Joe. Can certainly fire off a lot of bullets very, very quickly. It's really damn good fun and really damn good action. <laughs> okay, already on to area three. There's eight areas. Now, um, I'm calling this a long play video, guys. Um, I want to do a, normally when I call a, um, a video I've done a long play, it's me playing right through to the end of completion. I tell you now, um, I've not done all the levels. <laughs> um, after from this level onwards, the difficulty level really, really ramps up. In fact, uh, uh, level seven and level eight are just absolutely ridiculously hard. Well, actually level 5 and 6 are, and I managed after many many tries to get through it. And I got to, I think I get to uh, level 7 with about one life left. And uh, I've given up. I've tried all week guys to get right through to the end. So, uh, I do play this video, for, I do, do play the game for a long time. Uh, it's not technically a full long play then really, but uh, I, uh, you're not going to tell me up are you? It's really cool there, you can blow up the uh, lorries there with your grenades and stuff like that. This game does really offer a, a lot of bang for your buck. It's 
especially when it was, uh, I think I bought this on uh, re-release on the Encore label for about $2.99. Oh, I think this is a damn good value game. And obviously at the end of each level you've got a fortress you need to uh, um, t take on and uh, massacre hundreds and hundreds of guys that come out and chase you. There you go. I like that. I like that little effect there. The doors opening. Starting to chub there, as you can see a bit, but <laughs> actually kind of helps you out a lot. The game was running the same speed with all those enemies on the screen, man. Uh, it's, this game would be impossible. <laughs> Well, it pretty much is already. Right, now we've taken those T-Rocket uh, guys out on the left and right there. Sticks to the bottom of the screen in the middle there. And it's pretty, pretty much plain sailing. Alright, on to uh, Area 4. Start seeing the bad guys getting a little bit more intense, a little bit more accurate with their uh, shooting. Wow, a lot of grenades there. Oh dear. Oh, here's the landing strip, which uh, unfortunately chug makes the game chug very, very slowly. Idea. and obviously your sprite gets a bit masked there and blocked out but it, it actually illuminates how they've actually managed to get the game scrolling so smoothly um, so each of the things there like the uh, sandbags there and uh, other elements in the game uh, are uh, you know they're not actually in the background they're actually uh, as tiles that are sort of scrolled like sprites which means you're not actually scrolling the entire screen all the time the green background obviously stays static, there's nothing to scroll there, just the objects that uh, need to appear at the times they need to appear. So that's actually pretty cleverly programmed, um, we don't need a really detailed, uh, you know, ground and stuff there. Oh, a bit of a tip there, um, you can uh, rack up some a loss of points there by just standing there and shooting the guys coming off the cliff. Which is important because the more points you get, I think it's... Uh, I think it's 10,000 points, you get a, uh, an, an extra life, and uh, boy do you need them in the game, I mean I'm on 9 lives on area 5, and this is where the game gets really stupidly hard. As you can see the guy's getting very very accurate with uh, firing at you. You know, I've already, I've already talked briefly about the music, but um, I'm going to talk a little bit again um, about the soundtrack on the Amstrad version. Well, technically speaking, you know, it's not uh, the best sounding, but do you know what? I actually prefer this theme to the arcade original. The arcade music, while a lot of people love it and uh, it is an excellent piece of music, um, I always thought it sounded a little bit too jolly for the game, the type of game you're playing. But this one sounds a little bit more sort of uh, intense and uh, foreboding or whatever. It matches the action really, really well. Here's a little technique: keep to the side of the screen on these later levels and develop some kind of a zigzagging technique. Um, from level five onwards, you've got to be uh, really good with your timing. And reaction times. Um, see, I'm oh, lost quite a lot of lives in this level. So basically, you just you keep an eye out for the bullets. They shoot, especially if they're uh, behind you and fighting upwards at you. Uh, just develop a technique to kind of anticipate when they're going to shoot at you, and sort of. Uh, move off to the side quickly but always keep moving forward as much as you can the longer you stay in the same place the more enemies will appear and you pretty soon get swamped 
and if you move left and right here, they'll uh, these enemies here will sort of like um, gather in the centre of the screen, which you can take take them out of your grenades. Cool. Right, on to area six. This level killed me. The amount of times I restarted to get through this one. And uh, I've got another technique here, I've just basically spraying the screen with the bullets uh, <laughs> left, centre and right. And uh, it's very hard on the keyboard, I think this really is a joystick game you need to use. So you have to get this technique on the go. And take the bad guys as they appear above you out as quickly as possible. Especially if you run past them, they're just going to chase you up the screen. normally do anyway. Right, we're already at the uh, fortress there. Get there and get a rocket, get a grenade and um, clear those guys out of the trench. We really want to clear all the guys out of the trench in this fortress, if you can. Just to make your life a little bit more easier. Okay, then shoot down to the bottom middle of the screen and try and get them to gather in the middle and take them out with grenades. Now, the back parts of that trench will protect you from bullets, but sometimes they creep through like we just saw just then. And we nearly... <laughs> yeah, I remember that happening and me screaming like a girl in frustration. You can't let them hang around uh, too close to you for too long. Take them out quick or they'll move on as quick as you can. <sighs> well, that's close. I think we, yeah, I think we did it, did it, do it this time. Awesome. Right, start of level 7, this is where I give up guys, okay, this is just insanely, insanely hard. Let's watch what happens. Ho oh ho! I tell you what, it's potluck if you manage to get through this bit. So I'm already caught in the corner there and get swamped really quickly, so you do have to move really, really quick. But you know, this is why I like this game, uh, it, it does involve a lot of skill and a lot of technique and uh, the more times I play this, the, the further I progress each time. <sighs> okay, managed to make, make a bit of a breakthrough but I've only got one life left. So if I do get killed, um, if I have lives left then uh, there's a, you know there's about two or three restart points during the level and I won't have to replay that first section. Uh, there we go. So that's a pretty decent long play, um, but not technically right through to the end. But yeah, oh yeah, nice music on the title screen there as well. And uh, ni nicely presented. Overall, I really like this game. I think it deserves an 8 out of 10. And it's certainly comparable to the other conversions. At the end of the day, it may not have the best designed uh, sprites. Uh, but uh, you know, it's really fun, it's really simple. But anyway, I'm just going to sh quickly show you the uh, the end of level 8. So I did finally manage to do it after uh, you know reloading a few times and a bit more practice. But I couldn't do it, I couldn't do it all in one go, guys. So I'm not going to cheat you. So here it is, here's the fine here's the final level or final uh, fortress. It's actually pretty simple. Those guys on the top, uh, on the top of the uh, fortress there can't actually hit you if you're at the right at the bottom of the screen. So stay in the middle and get rid of the guys with grenades and shoot with your machine gun. And we've done it. But no end game completion screen, guys. It just loops through to the first level. But there you go. Anyway, an 8 out of 10 game. I hope you enjoyed and uh, see you in the next videos. Cheers. Bye.